And sometimes I'll come home and like all of the trash cans will be empty. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I wish I could come home and all the trash cans are empty. Maybe one day. Now if you black, can you proud? Stand up now, light us up. There's something in the air right now. Let it burn. These words hurt, feel what I'm saying right now. We are here. Got some full of shells and sales right now. It's you upset. Now we need you mad as hell right now. I know that's the best. Time we save ourselves right now. Time we save ourselves right now. I know that's the best. Time we save ourselves right now. Listen. Damn, same in this. Nothing. No, come on. <laughs> Can I have some? No, come on. I'm thirsty too. I don't care. Hey friends, and welcome to LA Shenanigans. Okay. Well, today's topic is living together before marriage. <laughs> Which is an interesting topic. We are engaged and we are cohabitating. We have our own condo. Um, so we're living through it right now. So I just thought maybe it'd be a great topic to touch on first for our first actual discussion video. Yeah, how many months have we been here so far? Uh, six or seven? Seven yeah, months? Seven that. months, yep. So it's been fun. It's been a learning experience, to mm -hmm. say the least. Yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, here goes some pros and cons of living with your partner before marriage. Number one. You wrote them down? I did, because... What you trying to say? <laughs> so, pros, right? Yeah, we can start with pros. Understanding living habits. Understanding your partner's living habits. Yes. Which can be very challenging at, you know, at some point. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that cohabitation before marriage, like, you get to kind of learn how your partner lives um, in, like, their day-to-day -day life. I couldn't imagine that. Like, getting married... And then next day you guys move in together. And what if like you're super not compatible with like how you run things every day? Right. Like I know for me, for example, I shower at night. And if someone gets up in the morning before me and showers, I'm trying to sleep. I'm going to be a little upset. So that's that's one thing that I feel like is definitely a pro. And since we've lived here together, I think I've learned a lot. I mean, we're pretty much super compatible. We're both super neat. And right, that's guys. what I was gonna say. Like, yeah. it's it's very uh, fortunate that we're both super neat, so it kind of just worked together. Yeah, because it would probably not have worked if we one of us was not neat. Because Lee is the type of person that most of the time I'll clean when people leave, but he'll start cleaning when people are still here. Yeah, I like to get. And it. people are like, uh, is he okay? I'm like, yeah, he's just he's he's just like that. I like to get clean. it done before. <laughs> everybody leaves that way when they do leave then i can just chill you don't have to do nothing makes sense makes sense dividing bills lower cost of living oh okay this is a good one so depending on how you divide divide the bills with your significant other it's always going to be cheaper if you're splitting bills in half or some type of other arrangement like 40 60 or like you pay these number of bills and i pay these number of bills so it's always cheaper um that's and again going along with like living with a roommate um it's it's most people, especially in our generation and millennial generation, um, it's easier for us to cohabitate with like other people, not even just necessarily your significant other, but like your friends or your sister or your family members or something like that. Just because it it brings down the amount of money that comes out of your check, you can. So that's definitely a huge pro factor, I think, um, and it works well for us. It, does. it works pretty well for us. So um, we have a little system down, and I like it. And there's certain stuff like that's not always one person. It's like sometimes we rotate. Like, we rotate on certain stuff, and then other stuff is just like, okay, this is just your bill, and this is just my bill. So, yeah. Yeah, sums it up. I do like how we have it kind of a plan together on how we uh set our bills and stuff up. Like for instance, I cover the electric bill. I cover internet bill. Like she covers the groceries. She covers a lower percentage of when because of her student loans and stuff like that. So we kind of balance everything out and it works for us, you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's working out. So I, I can't complain. Yeah, it works. Uh, uh, safety. Safety. So in light of all the human trafficking going on, it's safe, I think. Cause like most of the time, 
if I do come home, it's not dark outside. But if I am out late, maybe he's home or something. I'm like, hey, you know, coming in the house soon. Just, you know, look out <laughs> for me. Yeah. Um, so that's a that's a huge thing. It also depends on where you live, too. That brings up that safety factor more than, you know, anything else. Cause yeah. I, I mean, we don't live in like an unsafe. We live in an area, area where it's a whole bunch of old people that live here that <laughs> don't do nothing but be old. So. <laughs> be old. they're all retired yeah. they're all pretty friendly like when we first moved in they were all like welcome to the building welcome to the neighborhood yeah, it's not bad it's yeah. not a bad place yeah it's a pretty i think it's i mean overall it's a pretty safe place just being vigilant being cautious living in the world that we live in you know having that like okay that person to check in with and that person's like okay you're home whatever cons cons okay so here are some cons that we like thought about they may not necessarily apply to us but um they're like something to think about before you decide whether or not you want to cohabitate with your significant other so, so yeah. if, typically when you move in together before you know you're married it's typically frowned upon as far as your religion goes as far as christians go mm -hmm. in that sense i know some religions are different but i can only speak for ours mm -hmm. But it's typically frowned upon. You're supposed to get married first, then you live together and different things like that. But right. In our case, we wanted to live with each other for a year first yeah. and see how things go, see how, you know, I, how I live and have us are us living together. But we kind of figured that out over time anyway, because I used to visit her at her school and I used to stay the night you know, sometimes. So we kind of figured that out anyway. But mm -hmm. we wanted to do it for at least a year first and then uh, go from there. Yeah. But it's typically frowned upon. I think for us, we didn't really get like a lot of um, animosity with that. I mean, I think our parents were super supportive of our decision. I mean, for me, I didn't want, I told my mom when I graduated from college, I was like, you know, just give me a year, I'll be out. Um, but we'd already been in a long-term relationship. So for us to get separate places and then eventually move into one place, I feel like would have been a complete waste of time and energy. I just didn't want to be like an extra burden on my mom. You know, she still has my brother at home. So I was like, you know, I want to be independent. I want to not have to depend on my parents for the rest of my life. So that was one of my goals to like move out. And, and just the fact that we were in a relationship, a serious relationship at the time is, is you know, another another really good reason why. Um, I think that it was so like, it wasn't like frowned upon for us. Like our families were super supportive. They were like, do you need anything? I think we, we actually did a few shopping trips mm -hmm. um, to kind of shop for like decor. And um, I just think it's something to think about. Um, for some people, I definitely think that parents would not necessarily agree. Yeah, every situation is different. So. Yep, every situation is different. Next one is uh, uncertainty. Um, uncertainty is like, so, um, I remember telling like a coworker that I was like, Hey, you know, I'm trying to get a place. I mean, this coworker was a friend. I was like, you know, I'm trying to get a place with my, my boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, um, you guys aren't married or you guys aren't engaged. And I was like, no, but I mean, it was an older coworker. He had to be, I mean, he's probably old enough to be a parent of us. Um, and he was just like, well, like, are you sure he's going to still want to marry you? I guess he was you know, sticking along the lines of um, you're putting yourself out there. Like, I don't want you to, to expect so much from a relationship that's not going to yield. And he was telling me about an experience that he had where he lived with a long term girlfriend um, and they just their plans of getting married kind of just dwindled away, you know, as they spent more time living together. So he was just kind of like really focused on trying to help me to understand. So we actually have um, plans. Funny story. Side note. Sidebar. You have time for a sidebar? No. <laughs> <laughs> he moved out um, like the end of the summer last year. And we had like, been looking for places. And the place that we live in now, my mom actually <laughs> picked out and helped us, helped us find. Um, and we came, we toured, we really liked it. We put in our application, everything went well. We got the place. And the day we came to um, like pay the deposit and first month's rent and all that good stuff, we met the lady here and, and afterwards he was like, you know, let's let's go to dinner. Let's celebrate. And I was like, cool. He's like, we'll pick a place and we'll go out and, um, you know, we'll celebrate, you know, just our first place together. And I was like, cool, cool. You know, I was very excited. And then during this time. He proposed. He proposed before we moved in. And I was like, wow. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> but honestly, in my opinion, um, as far as uncertainty goes, I couldn't see myself, I don't know, getting married first and then deciding to live with my significant other because I have no idea, you know, how things are going to go. I don't know. You know, everybody's different behind closed doors. Everybody's different when they're in their personal space mm -hmm. and their own environment and habitat, whatever. So I, I just wanted to see how it was first. I mean, I kind of already knew, but, you know, just to see. Yeah, and I also thought it was interesting to kind of see, like, how we manage money and finances. Because mm -hmm. that was another that was another thing that we learned just in the first month or two living here. Well, I like to pay all of my bills, like, well before they're due. <laughs> because otherwise, I will forget. But he's like a pay-on-the-date type of person. You know what I mean? It depends on what bill it is. Like, <laughs> this is my car note. I'll pay it on the day it's due. I don't give a crap. Yeah. Rent, I pay, like, maybe two weeks before it's due. Or yeah. Something like that. But. but I'm like, as soon as I get this paycheck, and that's my first thing, I'm like, take all the money out. Uh, take what I owe you because I don't want to owe you anymore. I cry when I see it just disappear from my bank. I like yeah. to hold on to it for a little while, you know, hold it, comfort it a little bit. <laughs> You know, I mean, sm you work, smother you it a little bit, it. smother it a little bit, it. and then, you know, I can let it go eventually, but I can't yeah. just let it go right away. Can I have some water? No. No water. Can I just, I want to sip. It's, it's... All right, so next one. Dividing chores is, you put that as a con? Oh, well, I kind of put this arrow because it could be a pro or a con or just like a regular Yeah, topic. it can be. Like, for instance, she does not like washing dishes. I don't. Like, it's not that she won't no. wash dishes. She just does not favor washing dishes. Me, mm -hmm. I like to wash them pretty much as soon as I finish using the dishes. Because then if you don't, it piles up. Some people just, they don't care. They just let it pile up. Or they use the dishwasher. But We're not allowed to use the dishwasher nope. in our house. It's only, <laughs> it's only two of us. For what? To wash the dishes. No. Nah. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather wash all the clothes for the entire house. Like, that's just me. I mean, he does do the, the towels. Yeah, I wash the towels. But otherwise, I'm like, I'd rather just do laundry and fold it and put it away. Like, I, honestly, I'd be I'd be okay if I had never had to do dishes again in my life. That so with chores, I think, goes into, it can also go into, like, um, cooking and, um, what else? Walking the dog. Like, things that are, like, you don't think, like, cleaning stuff necessarily, but, like, things that have to be done. Um, so that's also a factor. Yeah. It can be a con if the person <laughs> doesn't want to do not it. A, yeah. I mean, there's stuff like, for example, like he was saying, I don't like to do dishes, but I will wash them and I will do them and I do my best, you know. But I don't prefer to do dishes. I'm not, it's not really what I like to do. So then. One more that we had for cons was delay marriage, which is what I was talking about in my coworker example before. Um, he, oh, the fact that if you live together, you might get too comfortable mm -hmm. and and keep putting off getting married because it's an expensive thing to do and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, yeah, it I is can really see expensive. That. The wedding I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people that's uh, still engaged for like ten years or so. I feel like, I mean, I don't know. Our engagement will have only been a year and two days. Yeah, it would have been a yeah exactly a year and two yeah. days. So, um, for me, anything past like eighteen months, if I haven't done it by then, I'm just gonna say that now, it's probably not gonna get done. So that's definitely a con. You need to have a plan. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I was gonna say move on a plan because I think with us, he actually already had a plan for how he was gonna propose when he was gonna propose. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So there was already things in the works before we started looking for a place um, to live together. So I think that um, definitely if you get too comfortable and too set in your ways, I guess, um, it can be a bad thing. This is just something to like look out for. You know, talk, talk to your partner, um, your significant other, and kind of see like where they are. So if you guys are you move in together and you're mentally like and emotionally on the same page i wouldn't say it's a con because it's like it's not going to happen to you if you guys are you know have a plan in place and you guys know what you want to do but for people that are just like ah, i'm gonna move in this person kind of see how it is it's like 
you're gonna hurt each other. It's not gonna be a great experience. So yeah, I'm still kind of nasally. I'm sick, so. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. Good point, though. Yeah. Definitely. So that was all of our pros and cons. And then we have some, like, random topics. Um, having friends and family over. I put this on here because um, that was actually, like, in our roommate agreement when I was in college. So um, just kind of having visitors and stuff like that. I don't... I, don't, I mean, it was kind of awkward in college because obviously you didn't know these people, but we've known each other for, what, 11 years? Yeah. So... Um, Anybody he's inviting over here, I've already met. It's not like he has people in and out of our house at all types of hours of the day and night. Because he's not that type of person. I think pretty much all of our close friends have seen our condo so far. Almost. Almost. Yeah, pretty much almost. Um, we'll probably do more things like that once we get a house. Because, I mean, yeah, we don't have in a, a lot condo, of space. it's not that much space. So. I mean, it's enough space for, like, maybe four people. I'd say yeah, four people. <laughs> With us included, it's like, <laughs> right? But, yeah, that's about four. Yeah. Days. And then the other topic was uh, share, oh, sharing. sharing food and slash space. Now, as far as sharing food goes, I don't care. I'm still not going to share it because it's my food. Why you have the same exact food on your plate? Why you want mine? You see mine and then want mine, but it's the same thing you got. But mine look better. It's the same exact thing. I don't understand that. I really don't. It looks better when it's on your plate. No. <laughs> I'm not it sharing. It does. It I'm looks better sharing. when it's on your plate. I'm not sharing. So, <laughs> if you didn't want it on yours, then. Not even sharing, like, just food, but, like, space, too. When we were living with our parents, even when I was living in college, too, but mostly when we were, like, um, in high school and, you know, I was coming home from college or whatever. Uh, we'd stay the night at each other's houses, parents' houses. Um, and I, never, I just remember like, oh, dang, I can't wait so I can like stretch out in my own bed and I have the whole bed to myself. You know, you don't you don't get that anymore. So <laughs> You want to stretch out? Go sleep in your other bedroom. That's something yeah. you have to uh, adapt to because to yeah. it's not easy. It's really not. Yeah. My whole life, I've been sleeping in a bed by myself mm -hmm. consistently, so... You don't have that no more. It's definitely a change. You have to adapt. You have to. Yeah. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. Definitely. That was fun. Definitely a transition. Yeah, and our snacks, it's part too. Of it. It's all part of it. Mm -hmm. And all sharing snacks, because we get stuff that he likes, and I'm like, ooh, can I? No. I'm like, well, I just want to try it. Nope. Living with your partner before marriage is a case-by-case -case type of scenario. For us, it worked. It worked really well. Like visiting each other and staying over each other's houses for so long, it's like we're both super neat, super organized. Yeah, it kind of just, kind of just slid right in there once you yeah. finally moved out and got our own place. Yeah, I don't think it was really like a hard transition. I mean, some stuff I was like, "You do that?" He's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." You know? I said the same thing to you. Yeah, he's like, "You do this?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Sometimes I'll come home and like all of the trash cans will be empty. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I wish I could come home and all the trash cans are empty. Maybe one day. Get off. <laughs> I think that's everything we had to talk about. That wraps it up. Sorry about the camera moving. <laughs> he always ends in the video for some reason. It's just how he is. He likes to be involved and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> piggy. Mm -hmm. He is a piggy. All right. Well, all right. That's all we have for you guys. So stay tune. tuned for next week. Tune in next time. See ya. Bye. Knees tied. Always begging God for a blessing.